What is up, Paleans? Happy spring! Daylight savings, warmer weather, and most of all, our very own Palea flowers. I'm so incredibly excited about the flowers, but I definitely needed to figure out more specifics of growing my mass flower farm. Because, of course, I need to stick flowers in every nook and cranny on my plot. I was also seeing some frequently asked questions from the community, so I did a little experiment to put to rest some of the specifics of all things flowers. I wrote down 12 of the most common questions that I was seeing asked and or was wondering about myself, and I'm going to quickly go over the first six in just a moment. For the last six questions, I ended up running a little experiment since I didn't know the answers for sure, so I'll be going over that as well. Kicking it off with question number one is, can you get seeds from already planted flowers or can you only get them from bugs? The answer is, you can absolutely get seeds from already planted flowers once they've grown and not only from bug catching. That leads us to question number two. Are there certain flowers for certain bugs? The answer to this is also yes. I won't go into too much detail here, but I will throw this chart up courtesy of one of our community mods in case you want to pause the video and take a closer look. Question number three is, can you move flowers once they've been planted? Yes, you can move the flowers at any stage of growth once you put them down, including putting them in your inventory. Question number four is one of my personal favorites. What the heck are the flowers for anyways? The answer to this is simple, my friends. Fun. And by that I mean, they're just for decoration. Question number five is, how do flowers interact with the current item limit? There was some confusion on this, but basically you can only, well, I mean, I say only, have 1,000 flowers maximum. When you reach that limit, you'll see this message pop up if you try to plant more. Each flower will also deduct from the 3,000 total item limit per plot. Question number six, does picking the seeds from flowers give you gardening experience? From what I can tell, no. I've picked a lot of seeds and I have not seen my gardening experience bar go up. All right, getting into these last six questions. Like I mentioned, I ran through a little experiment. By experiment, what I really mean is I planted some flowers and I washed them, like a hawk, for five hours. Why on earth would I do that? Because these were questions I needed answered with no room for doubt. Anyways, those questions are, Number seven, how long does it actually take the flowers to grow? Number eight, can you get seeds more than once from the same plant? Number nine, do the flowers ever die? Number 10, do flowers grow when you are offline? Number 11, can flowers be put inside your house? And number 12, do flowers grow indoors? Addressing this first question is really what took so much time. First, I planted seeds all together like this, then I sat back to watch when they would bloom. But the results confused me even more. I planted them all at 10.50 a.m. paleo time, and they bloomed around 3.30 a.m. Well, that wasn't 6 a.m. like the regular crops, and the amount of time that had passed wasn't a full paleo day cycle. I realized then that this one sample size wouldn't cut it. So then I started planting one seed every 10 minutes real life time and monitoring them. I found that no matter what time of day I planted the seeds, they bloomed sometime in the early morning between 3.30 and 4.30 a.m. Harvesting the seeds from the already grown plants had the same time frame. Then it all started coming together. Anything planted and or watered before 12 a.m. that paleo day would bloom between 3.30 and 4.30 a.m no matter what time of the day they were planted. This is very similar to how the crops grow at 6 a.m. paleo time. But then I needed to test if they can be planted indoors, if they grow indoors, and if they grow while you are offline. So I did those all at the same time to see what would happen. I planted these seeds inside and logged off. When I logged back on, voila! So, in short, can flowers be put inside your house? Yes. Do flowers grow indoors? They do. And do flowers grow when you are offline? The answer is also yes. To address the question of if flowers die, after reaching the maximum flower limit of 1,000, you can imagine I planted and harvested a lot of flower seeds. 
I didn't see any of the flowers die, so I'm going to go with no on this one. As well, throughout this experiment, I found that I was only able to get seeds once from the same plant, after planting the seeds one at a time and monitoring them closely. And for the time it takes for them to grow, well, there isn't a specific amount of time for the flowers to grow, but they will bloom the day after you plant them between 3.30 and 4.30 a.m. paleo time. If you have any other flowery questions that you are wondering about, please comment below and I would love to answer those for you. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. And if you're more of a watch and chat live type of person, you can catch us streaming on Twitch TV forward slash Sleepy Katara. Happy farming, Palians.